Working out the logistics for the winter has proven challenging um, with each district handling it a little bit differently. Um, and in some cases, uh, also sport to sport. Um, so we've had a few schools in our league um, that have delayed the start of winter sports um, to varying dates in January. Um, since we were supposed to start games um, January 6th, when we returned from break, uh, we've had to adjust our league schedule a little bit. Uh, but again, the, the name of the game this year, right, is flexibility, just adapting, just trying to make the best of the situation. We're just trying to provide, you know, whatever opportunities we can, but making sure that they're safe. Um, you know, so we're, we're, uh, we're playing just the big schools um, in boys and girls basketball and boys hockey. Um, there is no big, small uh, breakdown in girls hockey. So we're just playing all other schools that have girls ice hockey. And then again, I mentioned there's some sports specific changes. So there's three schools. Uh, we are being one of them uh, that did not have access to a pool. Um, so unfortunately, we've had to delay uh, swimming and diving to the fall two season, um, which was really unfortunate. Um, you know, we've really tried to avoid creating situations where students would have to choose between sports. Um, you know, so we reached out to some other pool facilities uh, when we found out we would not have access to Keefe. Uh, Keith Tech's pool, which is what we traditionally use. And unfortunately, we just weren't able to find time. Um, you know, most pools already have locked in schedules, um, either with other high schools or private programs or lessons, whatever it might be. And there's no one was able to uh, add on another full high school, which was obviously unfortunate. So, um, so like I said, some of the schools in our league are doing swimming and diving, and then we are not. Um, and then same thing with track and field. Um, the MIAA uh, moved track and field to the fall two season. Um, we felt very strongly that we wanted to offer winter track um, in its traditional season. Uh, we have a very large number of kids. Last year, we had about 190 um, students. And to me, that was 190 students that were going, weren't going to have anything to do this winter. Um, and so our coaching staff um, has been amazing. Um, we are practicing outdoors. Uh, we're getting very creative um, in, in what we can do. Uh, and with the storm coming in, we've started to talk about other things that we can do uh, since. You're going to have uh, to get some snow suits, I think, right? Uh, we'll do a little <laughs> snowshoe workout maybe. Um, so uh, and we have about 120 students right now. Um, and, and that number may go up um, as some of our teams uh, make, make the difficult decisions that they have to make in terms of cuts. Um, so we have a large number of kids that even though we're practicing outdoors still decided to come out. Um, but there's only five schools in the TVL that are doing uh, track and field during this winter season. The other seven have pushed it off. So again, there's a lot of different things from school to school and sometimes sport to sport, depending on facilities. Um, so it's, it's definitely more of a struggle in the sense of consistency and consensus than the fall was. We had a real strong consensus in the fall on what we were going to do. Um, being outdoors helped. Um, so it's a little bit more challenging in that respect this winter. And I want to ask you this question before I forget, because I always forget. Uh, so the girls hockey team this season, they'll also be at the New England Sports Center. Will they be on the same rank as the boys team? Yes, except for one game. But um the difference okay. is, uh, and I assume you, you're probably thinking, Tom, of rink one. Yes. Which is the traditional game rink. So we're actually not playing our games in rink <laughs> one this year. I knew it. Um, I knew it. <laughs> we are playing uh, all of our boys' games in rink three and almost all of our girls' games in rink three. Uh, one of their games is in rink four. Um, the reasoning for that is rink one um, – not to give too much information that people probably don't necessarily want to know about, but the bench area is confined by stands. Like right. there's no room to expand. And because of the EEA guidelines of having to have six feet of space between everyone in the bench area, we, we would have had to have a really small roster. Uh, we figured it out that we could probably fit 12 people in the bench, which would be 10 skaters and the two coaches. And then if you factor the six guys on the ice or girls on the ice, that means we could only carry a roster of 16 people if we use rink one. 